Hello everyone. Uh, myself Talhar Rehan Ansari from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today we'll be talking about debugging memory leak related issues in Windows. So for example if you see some process growing in terms of physical memory or committed bytes sporadically or over a period of time which is ab quite abnormal than the regular usage then it is definitely a case of mem memory leak issue it could be in the application or in the in, in the operating system related libraries that we are using so we'll see in this presentation how to identify memory leak issues which is you know quite straightforward which is a monitor the memory usage or memory footprint of the process over a period of time and we'll see what tools we can use to monitor and debug memory leak issues and we'll show us a small case study so to define a memory leak it, it's fairly simple so if repeatedly an application fails to return the memory which it had obtained from the operating system so then there's a memory leak there. and over a period of time slowly the application of the op operating system doesn't function properly as the available memory has been exhausted so how do we identify memory leak we monitor the memory fo footprint of the process which is under suspicion or we can start afresh looking at all the processes that we are running under a, a particular project and we, 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 we can identify a pattern with with the monitoring over it over a period of time with respect to the physical memory or the committed bytes of the application or the process on windows specifically we have a fantastic tool you know by the name of perfmon which can be used to trace the memory usage of any process or a particular process instance with a given pid we can monitor private bytes and the virtual bytes of a given process so uh, assuming that we have identified the process or the process instance which we see is growing in terms of memory over a period of time now the next step is to find some information regarding the allocations happening in that process so we have a tool called debug diag which is quite famous on windows under debug diag there is uh, an option to do the do the debugging of a leak issue so leak track is uh, a feature of debug diag which we can use so it provides an option to attach leak track it's a, a module of debug diag uh, which we can attach to the process uh, we are interested in we'll we'll see an example to understand this better so uh, we have to open the debug diag configuration we have to select for native memory leak or it's like a non dot net native memory leak so if if you see here this is the uh, this is the debug diag tool and here uh, to begin with we add a rule and this is the particular option we were talking about native non dot net memory and handle leak so we need to select this and say next now from here we need to select a process and execution a process image or an instance which is running with a PID and uh, one thing to note here is that we have to select only that instance so it's not like we have some process under an application which uh, is executed and, and and completes and then same instance is you know executed again so only a given instance with the PID will be monitored for the leak track for example, uh, for example I just select this one and say next so now uh, we have some more configurations here now uh, we have to have some idea of a normal execution of that process that how much memory in general for that use uh, use case it takes so uh, we have to configure that when to create a user dump given the size of the process for example uh, your process generally takes 100 to 200 MBs on a regular day and you see it bloating up to 1 GB or 1.5 GB then you would be interested in taking a user dump as say 500 MB first user dump and then you can take an additional uh, at each additional 150 MB more uh, complete user dumps so that you can analyze them or compare them so and that's all and then uh, you can have some limit on the number of dumps that would be created by this tool depending on how much disk space you have 
so you can auto unload a leak track it's like a DLL which is attached to the process when the, this rule is completed or deactivated and then uh, we need to specify the folder where we need to save the dumps which will be created once the process reaches the threshold that we have configured so now what we need to do is we need to just take the dumps when and when they are created and we we have to use debug dive tool again to create reports from that so leak report can be generated from a dump which has leak related information or allocation related information to be specific so uh, what does debug dive report tell us is uh, if, if there are any abnormal uh, allocations which have not been freed over a period of time it will give us some sample thread stacks of that so it, it would help us know what was the operation that caused the, the allocation which is you know causing memory leak in the process as a whole so we will see an example to understand better so here uh, there was a PM server which is integrated service process of Informatica it was consuming a lot of memory say for example it was reaching so 8 GB which is usually you know 100 to 200 MB on a normal day so uh, we, we couldn't figure out any mem memory increase any pattern it was just you know sporadic so we'll see uh, the report which was generated from the dump taken from the leak track so we configured the leak track attached the PM server process to the debug diag and once it reached certain threshold which we have we had specified there were uh, full, 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 full user dumps created uh, yeah so we, we have a report which was generated from one, one of the customers environment so if you see here in, in the summary section it has listed down the modules which were you know used to uh, do the allocation so on, on windows it is like this particular DLL which does allocation for the user processes so now we go to this particular module and see what were the sample stacks so it would list down the percentage of leak probability from from one particular operation so from the sample stacks uh, which is here uh, we, we can understand what was the operation that was being done by the process and uh, which resulted in a leak so this could help us narrow down and then avoid that or you know if it is a bug we can fix it so th so this is how we narrow down from a process leaking memory to the operation in, in the process which was the culprit and one more interesting thing to note here is that on windows generally we don't get the proper stack unless we have the debug symbols uh, in place so in windbg to or, or in debug diag to get a proper thread stack we have to attach the pdb files which is available with informatica support so uh, ideal way would be a customer sending a dump over to uh, uh, to the support and support can use the PDB of the respective versions or the modules to generate a proper stack trace to know what are the operations that were you know doing the malicious uh, allocations so uh, this is uh, pretty much what we have today in store so in case you have any queries or uh, you have any comments please feel free and we, we would love to hear from you thank you